to go out or you know just having a night in and you want to plan some makeup this is a perfect look to try out this is just kind of like um a take on a black smoky eye but i added a makeup geek pigment in paparazzi so it's like a glittery kind of um like i don't i don't know why i was about to say cobalt <laughs> like glittery gum uh, gum gray but when I look at it in my viewfinder, it's not showing up as glitter, glitter, glittery, glittery as it is in the actual pot. So, by all means, that does not make or break this look. The main thing of this look was the glitter liner. Now, I haven't done glitter liner in a very, very, very long time. I don't think I've done it since last year on my channel. So, I really wanted to kind of do something different. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know what else you would like to see down below. I am on a filming spree today, you guys, because I feel like I have not been posting a lot of videos, which I'm sure you guys have too, because when I posted my lookbook video, you guys are like, where are you at? Where have you been? I... I had to go to Wisconsin for a training for my job, and it was a week-long training, so while I was there, I got that um, pumpkin spice, like, um, pump, pumpkin, brown smoky eye. I am so hungry, y'all, so my brain is, like, gone. But I got that look edited and up for you guys, and then I got the lookbook up for you guys as well this past Sunday, so I am sorry for the lack of videos. My life has just been kind of crazy, and I've been getting pulled in a bunch of different directions, whereas YouTube and also in my personal life, so I am trying, trying, trying. So I hope you guys enjoy this video nonetheless. I love you all. I miss you all, and I, I love filming for you guys because I know you guys are like my ride or dies, y'all. Y'all are true <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next video bye all right you guys i'm starting off by priming my lids with my mac studio finish concealer as always and this is in the shade nc45 and i just use this as an eyeshadow base next i go in with a makeup geek eyeshadow and this is coco bear and i'm applying this in one shield wiper motion with a sigma big fluffy e40 brush and i'm just rocking this back and forth Next, I go in with a um, Coastal Scents Hot Pot, and this is in the shade Harvest Brown. It's like the perfect chocolate brown shade. And I'm putting this into my crease with a Sigma E25 fluffy eyeshadow brush. Their eyeshadows used to be really fluffy, but now they're more densely packed, and I don't like them. So I use my old school ones. <laughs> Next, I go with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in just the blackest black or black or whatever it is. And I'm using a... Um, Pixel Fine Concealer Brush by Sigma, and I'm placing that all over my lid as an eyeshadow base, and then I go in with Corrupt by Makeup Geek, and I use this with a old eye, eye blending brush. I don't even remember where it comes from, but I'm just using that to blend out that cream um, eyeliner that I applied. Now, applying the cream eyeliner is not a necessary step because we're going to cover it up with an eyeshadow, and then we're going to cover the eyeshadow up with a pigment, but... It is what I did when I was coming up with this look on the other eye, so I just decided to follow suit and just continue to what I did. Make sure you take your time with this blending out the black because it took me a long time. After that, I go back in with uh, the Harvest Brown shade, and I just use that on the 825 and blend that brown shade in with the black shade. Next, I go in with this L'Oreal Color Riche eyeshadow called Meet Me in Paris. It's a really pretty, like, true gray color. So I just pack this on with a Sigma E55 eyeshadow brush. And then after that, I take the Makeup Geek Pigment and Paparazzi, and I take that on a Sigma, I want to say this is the E50-something or another. <laughs> and I take pap Paparazzi, and I pat this all over. So I don't tap off the excess. That's why you'll see a lot of fallout on my eye, because once I tap off the excess, it kind of, like, goes away. So next I'm using NYX Crystal Liner and also some craft glitter that I got from Walmart that I showed you guys on Snapchat. And I'm just first going in with the NYX Crystal Liner and I just kind of line my upper lash line and then I go in with an angled eyebrow brush by Sigma and I pack the glitter right on top. And I just continue to do the same thing. I could have used the NYX glitter adhesive but I just decided to use this glitter liner because I hadn't used it in a while and you know no particular reason it was just kind of right there so I decided to grab it. I am doing a wing liner with it and using this um, liner brush actually makes it a little bit easier so that is pretty much what I'm doing. 
Next, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the face and to prime my skin. I am using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and this is the Pore Minimizing Primer. If you guys have really large pores, this is one of my hands out favorite pore minimizing primers. It really smoothens the pores because I have a lot of them and they're very large. So I just smooth those into my problematic areas, and then I go ahead and put on some foundation. I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Trinidad. That is a mouthful. I haven't used this shade or this foundation in a while and I used it when I was in Wisconsin and I was like, oh my gosh, this used to be my favorite. So I decided to pick it back up. And I also went in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which if you guys haven't seen my concealer video, go ahead and check that out. I will have a link down below so you can see and hear my thoughts on this concealer. It is uh, very creasy, but this color also didn't look good with the foundation, but I made it work, you guys. So I blended that out. Now I'm setting it with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm pressing it into the skin with my Beauty Blender as opposed to setting it with a brush. So I'm just pushing it into the skin, and I also let my T-Zone bake. That's the only area where I allow an excess amount of powder to sit on my face because that is where it gets the oiliest first. <laughs> so after that, I go ahead and more so bronze my skin as opposed to contour it with my Makeup Geek Contour Pan and Deal Breaker. This is the warm slash deep shade. And I'm using this on a pink martini powder brush, and the powder brush is really uh, point, it has a more of a point on the end, so that's why I like to use it to contour slash browns up my skin with. So after that, I go ahead and apply some blush, and I'm using the Balms and Stain Blush, and this is in the shade Pinstripe. And no specific reason for me to use this, I just grabbed it because I wanted to think a little bit lighter and a little bit more cool tone, I guess you could say. So I applied this blush onto the apples of my cheek, and then for highlighter, I went in with one of my all-time favorites, and it's the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. And I hope this reminds you guys of old school Lanye because I piled this shit on let me tell you guys like i went over it and over it and over it until i could like literally see it beaming in my mirror so i used that with a bh cosmetics fan brush and i got this out of their purple brush set like six years ago and i still have this brush and it's one of my favorite fan brushes ever so after that i go ahead and press the powder into my nose area as opposed to swiping it away and then after I do that, I go in back with the contour powder and deal breaker and contour my nose. So I usually do the rest of my face while I let that powder sit. And then after I kind of tap it into my skin, I go ahead and contour my nose. And then I go in with the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow or whatever highlighter I'm using at the time. And just go ahead and um, highlight the tip in the, in the bridge of my nose. So that is not necessary. If you don't need to do that, you don't have to do that. But that is what I like. So after that, I am using my uh, Prestige Cosmetics Eye Cold Pencil in Black is Black. It's one of my favorite eye cold pencils ever. It's really creamy and really, really black. Then I go back in with Corrupt on the lower lash line with a Sigma Smudge Brush. And I just use this and go back and forth in, in uh, side to side motions and really smoke out and really intensify that lower lash line. If you were, would rather have more of the focus on your upper lash line, then go ahead and skip this step. I do go back in with... Um, uh, Harvest Brown, or no, Deep Roast, I'm sorry, and a Smoke Out the Black. After that, I go in with a um, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Sky. I believe it's like a silver, silver sky. And I apply that into the inner corner. And then I line my lips with my MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Cork. It's more of like a, a neutral, cool tone lip liner. So this step was completely unnecessary as well, y'all, let me tell you. <laughs> And after that, I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Sepia. This was the first time I ever used it, and it is gorgeous, you guys. I thought it would be way too light on my skin because I'm darker, more of a brown girl, but it is gorgeous, and it's the perfect kind of mauve browny, mid-tone, cool-tone, pinkish-brown color. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you go. I love you all, and I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video, and also leave me more suggestions down below. Mwah. Bye!